My name is Tracy Leacock and I'm a netball coach of the National Sports Council and I've been coaching for 16 years. I've been playing netball since primary school but for most of my teen to adult life I was playing with St. Barnabas netball team and I would have finished my playing career with Carlton netball team. I have been the assistant coach and manager of the junior national team for about 11 years. We would have won the tournament on two occasions and we have been runner-up on several occasions. Since then, I would have started my own netball group where I coach, manage, and we have been quite competitive on the local scene. As assistant coach and manager of the junior team, I would have gone to several Caribbean territories. As a coach, I would have traveled all the way to Singapore to complete some training in my coaching. However, my formal training would have started at the Barbados Community College, where I learned to teach and coach the sport. In my managerial role, I would have done several courses at the Barbados Olympic Association, and I would have done those to advanced level. Since then, my focus is now sports management, and I am now enrolled at the University of the West Indies, where I am doing a master's in sports management. As a coach, I'm quite passionate about the development of girls through sport. I believe that sport is a tool that can be used to mentor girls. I believe that sport is a way in which we can develop many of our life skills. One thing that I do love about coaching is the fact that you get to touch so many players and to see them come from little ones to national players. Players like Shaniqua Thomas, who I would have coached from the age of 10, Shanika Wharton, who we would have touched from the age of 11, Shanice Rock from the age of 13. Those are players who are now on our national squad and to know that you would have had just a small hand in their development makes me feel really great to be a coach. My most memorable moment would have been in 2015 when we last played in Barbados. The energy that was shown to the girls there on our home ground was exhilarating. We did not win, we were runners up to Jamaica at that time, but the fans made us and the girls felt like we were winners in our own right. To any young aspiring players, I would advise you to play as much as possible, watch as much as possible and enjoy what you do. To anyone who is passionate about coaching, I would advise that you be open to continuous learning. Sport is developing. You need to study the dynamics of the sport. You need to know that rules are always changing and you need to know the science of the sport. If I had the power to change one thing in my sport, I would want that netball has access to all the resources that is afforded to the other sports. I would want that we would have a home where we can have access to and that is continuous access. I would want that we have the necessary medical and professional personnel in order to um, bring about a better, better athlete. And I would want that we have the funding in order to push our sport forward. And I look forward to the day where netball can become an Olympic sport.